Yeah, uh, this demonstration shows how to map GIS data on different base maps because uh, here shows two examples. We have the housing estate locations as uh, the rule dot, but we would like to have different base maps to show the relationship between the location of the housing estate with the geographic co identities. And the first one right, shows the terrain map, and the second one shows the open street maps. So they can be used for different purposes. And here is an example to show how to plot uh, this GIS data on different base maps. Let's start. The first routine is always to install uh, the software. Here we uh, simply use uh, GeoPandas and uh, Contextly. And Contextly uh, is for choosing different base maps. So after running the installation of GeoPandas and Contextly, then the second routine is to download a shape file. This time I use a uh, open data from ESRI Hong Kong uh, to show how to map the HOS, the Home Ownership Scheme uh, Housing Estate in Hong Kong onto two different base maps. And first of all, I download the shape file from ESRI. Let me show you uh, what they are. Yeah, here shows you the open geospatial data in Hong Kong website and uh, it provides uh, seven, 17 different data categories. This time I use housing category and it provides all the data. Uh, and right, this example is using home ownership scheme courts in Hong Kong, uh, the updated date tonight, 9, 2020. And if you click, then it shows the maps with the locations of each home ownership scheme cards. You can view full details about this data and you can also download the shape file. Right. It provides a CSV, KML shape files and this time I simply tried downloading shape file. And after downloading the shape file, I save it to my Google Drive and then in Collab, I call uh, the shape files. Okay, so the second routine, right, shows that I uh, among the drive of my Google Drive and with the file path weight of the downloaded XOS codes in Hong Kong shape files, and then right, used GeoPandas GPD function to read the files from my drive, and it requires a authorization. That the result, the first five rows of the data set right, showed here, it includes the name of the estate, the region, and the most important two data, right, would be these two columns. The first one, LA, represents latitude, and LO represents longitude. These are the coordinates of each housing estate. And this is a very big table. Uh, uh, if you slide to the right, you can find a lot of information about the number of units, uh, year, build, and uh, even uh, the management company. Okay, but this time we just would like to show how to plot uh, the GIS data by coordinates. If we do not use base map, simply use a plot function. I set the limit of the coordinates and here shows the result, right? It simply plot the dots of the location of the housing estates without the base map. Then it is very simple here. We simply use CDX, the contextually uh, function, add base map. Uh, add the base map to this AX dot, and the source right, would be the contestally providers, and we can choose different base map. And the first example is to choose open street map. Yeah. And here's the result showing the location of the housing estates on the street map. In the second example, I simply replaced open street map by a statement terrain. Yeah. Then the map becomes a terrain 
map. And there's another example, so you can find how people map the earthquakes in the past 30 days. And if you would like to know more information about different base map, you can also Google search. And there are some very interesting uh, base maps for you to choose. That's all.